Hey everybody, Earl Green here from Green Nutraceuticals. I wanted to take a moment today to discuss something I recently faced, um, and you may be facing it too. Um, so I wanted to give you some suggestions on how I dealt with it, because I did, and it got better, uh, and how you might deal with it as well. And that, that fear is homophobia, or the fear of surgery. Um, you know, surgery can be pretty scary. If you've never gone into it before, if it's your first time, uh, there are side effects, there are risks, there's a long recovery period. And uh, what you'll find is that you can suffer from pretty good anxiety, you know, leading up to the actual procedure itself. And I know I did. I mean, about a week out, I was having a difficult time sleeping uh, a few days prior, and uh, it, was, it was starting to get really bad. Um, but here's the good news. Um, I found some ways to deal with it. I want to share them with you today. I hope they work for you. Uh, let me know in the comments below. But again, about a week out, I started having some pretty serious anxiety. I had a knee replacement. And if you know anything about knee replacements, uh, very long recovery time, uh, very risky surgery. You can get blood clots. You can get gastrointestinal issues that can cause, lead to sepsis and, and kill you. Um, there, there are complications with it. Additionally, uh, it's a very painful surgery. Uh, there's a very long recovery time. And I couldn't really put my finger on what you know I was I was fearing primarily. I just knew I had a lot of trepidation going into it, and, and it got pretty bad. So um, what I found uh, that helped me was it was about three days out, and uh, my fear level was was pretty good. I'd say my anxiety level was probably about a seven or an eight, which is is pretty high for me. I'm usually not not terribly anxious guy, but what I did is I started by going and getting a really thorough 90 minute massage. Uh, I know this sounds crazy, but I realized at a point, you know, like, wow, I'm really holding a lot of this stress within my body. And uh, I realized, okay, what would I do typically if I was holding a lot of stress in my body? I'd just go get a massage. So instead of a 60 minute, which is what I would normally opt for, I explained to the massage therapist uh, that, you know, hey, in three days I'm going in for surgery, I've been very tense. And uh, she was really, really sweet. She offered me not only uh, a full massage that she would normally give, but extra time, didn't even charge me for it, and just said, uh, you know, when I, when I pointed out, it's like, hey, this is going on a little bit long. She said, don't worry, uh, you really need it. And she could tell that I did. So number one, uh, do the massage. You will be amazed how much stress and anxiety that will pull out of your body. Number two, uh, I would take a Xanax pill and you're allowed to take this up until about, I think, 12 hours prior to surgery. You can, you can take a Xanax, and you need to let your anesthesiologist know if you've taken a Xanax. Um, but I would take one Xanax and I would break it up, because typically it just makes me sleep, right? But what this was doing is it was taking away the anxiety. And I would take a small bit of, of Xanax, and then a few hours later, take another small bit of, of Xanax. And after the massage, okay, so the massage, I left there and it was like, oh my God, I feel so much better. I, I mean, I just felt so relaxed and so calm that I went back and I thought, okay, I'm going to stay ahead of my anxiety. I took about a quarter of a pill of Xanax, maybe, maybe a half, maybe a third, something like that. And um, it got me through no problem. And it was just, I mean, the next day it was like, hey, it is what it is, you know, and, uh, and it got me through. So if you can talk to your surgeon let them know that you're having some problems of anxiety and then just say, hey, look, could you could you get me a small amount of Xanax? And and uh, it's very inexpensive. It'll only cost you a few dollars, even if you don't have insurance. Um, but that that helped me a lot. And here's the, the third and final thing that that will really surprise you. So I had an early morning surgery. Uh, I had to be in at the the operating uh, room at 530. I had to be at the hospital. And uh, so I had to wake up at 415 in the morning. And what really, really surprised me, and I've heard this over and over from people, is that the day of the surgery, you have this sense of calm and inner peace with it. Like, you know, okay, it, it's there, it's happened, there's, you know, we're just gonna do it, it's gonna be for the best, everything's gonna work out fine. And I went in, I drove myself there uh, with, with my girlfriend, and uh, just sat in the waiting room, and they called me back, and I was absolutely calm and peaceful. And um, the next thing I know, they were getting me prepped for surgery. I was, I was in, I got conked out, and then I woke up with an extremely dry mouth uh, in post-op. So in any event, those are the three things that, that really, really got me through a very, very tough time. Number one, 
go get a really good massage, splurge on the expensive one, let the um, massage therapist know that you are suffering from some anxiety. There's some specific techniques that they can use and really work on you to, to get that out. Number two, ask your doctor if they can prescribe you some Xanax, uh, just you know, as, as many as you'll need to just kind of get you up and through that. And then finally, uh, just know that the day of surgery uh, typically you will feel an inner sense of peace. I can't tell you how many times I've heard that and I think it's just universal. So I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, again, I'm Earl Green with Green Nutraceuticals. It's a little off topic today, but if I can help people, I'm glad to do it and I hope this video helped you. Thanks for watching and if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more helpful stuff.